Greetings friends, hope this finds you well. Today I'm gonna to be upgrading my monitor setup. So currently I'm using a 34 inch Alienware ultra wide on the top, a 27 inch Alienware uh, 240 hertz on the bottom. The one on the top, I think it's 120 hertz maybe. Um, links are down in the description if you wanna know what I'm currently using and what the new one's gonna be. And then I also have a, on the side over here, a 24 inch 1440p Dell. Um, just as a secondary monitor. The top monitor and the side monitor hooked up to my streaming PC, my secondary PC, which I, I use for, I watch streams and other things like that when I'm playing a game or editing a video, or I'll pull up other things that I need to on there. Um, when I do stream, I use it for OBS and things like that, of course. But um, today I'm gonna be upgrading the, uh, the one on the bottom here, the 27 inch Dell, to the new uh, QD OLED uh, Alienware. So these came back, uh, came out back in March. <laughs> yeah, March. Um, and I got mine in June, but it was damaged. So the day I got it, there was some damage to the box, but one whole side of the monitor had lines to it and looked like it had, it had been creased or cracked. So I don't know if it was a, it was a shipping thing or what, um, but I got an RMA, sent it back the next day, and it took about five or six weeks to get the replacement. So these things are still, you know, hard to get even, um, even today. I think if you order a new one today, it's still several months to get one. Hopefully that improves soon, but um, wasn't even able, able to use it because it was damaged. So boxed it up and, and, and shipped it right back. So got the new one. Um, and during that time, I got to thinking, maybe I want to upgrade my monitor my, uh, arms that I'm using as well. The, uh, the stacked setup that I'm using here is just a, a single pole that's screwed to the desk that I got on Amazon, nothing special. And then there's two monitor arms that come off of it. Um, they're, they, they will go back and forth side to side and tilt up and down. But as far as height adjustment, I have to physically move them up and down. So I have to loosen them up with an Allen wrench, move them up. So it's a pain to get them exactly where you want them, especially when the monitor's already on there. So I decided to go ahead and upgrade the arm I'm using for the stack setup. Um, and I may get rid of my side monitor as well. I'm not sure yet. Um, wait, get everything hooked up and, and kind of see. It depends on what the layout of the new arm, if I can get these the stacked ones a little bit lower. So I'm not craning and looking at the top one as much. I like like putting chat and stuff on this this left, the side one, the 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 one that I have mounted vertically. So we'll see, but let me show you what I'm going to re be replacing this stuff with. So, so this is the, uh, the new Alienware. So this is the 34 inch curved QD OLED. It's the AW3423DW. So you probably seen a lot of other people talking about this. A lot of other people have reviewed it already because they got it early. Um, I paid for this myself. Um, this was not a sponsored in, in any way. Um, like I said, it took a while to get it. And as far as the mount, here's um, the top of, this is what comes on the top of the box. This has the stand, the back cover, the Visa mount, and, and some other things in here as well. So not gonna be using the Visa mount, of course, but here is the new arm. So this is the Ergotron LX dual stacking. This is not cheap. Um, it's quite expensive, um, almost $500 which is crazy because you can buy a really good monitor for that. But I wanted something that had full adjustability. Can this can support up to two 34 inch monitors. Um, so I shouldn't have any problems. It should have more adjustability than the one I have now. That is the goal, especially height adjustment. So I'm not having to unmount these monitors, unhook them, just make it easier, hopefully, um, to deal with this. So here's the current one. You can see it's just a, a pole mount and it's a has the extension on it so that I can stack the monitors and then you see the two arms on there. You can actually, these um, arm mounts have uh, two, so I can mount two on each one. Um, I'm just using them, of course, with the one now. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's fixed as far as up and down. You've got to manually slide them up and down if you want to adjust that part. And then my side monitor, I also have a, Second pole mount, same one, with two, three more arms on actually. So these are actually different. Um, and all of this is linked on my kit.co page. Um, sorry for the, uh, 
supply balance there, or the, um, but all this is linked on my kick.co page. Uh, these are different sizes. So, so the, the bottom one, the monitor's on is a three section. Then I have two two section one, or two section one and another three section one. So I've got the, El, the Elgato key light air on the top one, my camera on another one. I may get rid of this completely um, and just use the Elgato, Elgato multi-mount for my camera because it has a lot of adjustability. I can do a top down with it and other things. And I think it'll look a little cleaner, but like I said, I'll, I'll see. Um, Cause you know, I don't really need the key light air. It's so harsh cause it's so small. It's not diffused enough. It just, it's like it's sh a flashlight sign shining in your eye at times. Um, but if, I guess if you bounce it off of the wall or something, other people do that. Um, but what I have been using is this, um, which is a you know, huge, like, 36 inch, I think, diffuser. It's a, it's a Amaran Light Dome SE. And then I have the Amaran 2000 or 200X, sorry, um, light on there. And then I built this mobile like C stand cart, if you will. So I can, you know, move this around, use it to, to do different videos and shots and things like that. Um, it's really uh, convenient. Got everything mounted on there. Got an external monitor mounted on there, all the power and everything. So basically I just sit the camera on there and I can go. So I can use that. It's really soft light because uh, it's so diffused and I can turn it down like super, like one or 2%, which you can with the key light. It's just, the key light's just so small. It's just not the same. It's just, this is just a much more pleasing light when it's shining in your eye <laughs> when you're trying to film or, or stream or something. So I probably will just use that from now on and I'll just get rid of the key light air altogether. So yeah, just one more look. Um, so this is what it looks like currently. And um, let's get everything unboxed. Hopefully the new, the replacement uh, monitor for the new 34 inch is not damaged and works and there's no issues. Because if not, I'm sending it back and <laughs> I'm not getting another one. These things are too expensive. It just takes too long. So all right, stand by. So here I am going ahead and disconnecting everything, removing the monitors and the old mount so I can get the new one ready. It's really nice having a adjustable sit stand desk because it makes this much easier. Wanted to show this new mount, especially the bottom, and I'll compare it to the other one here in just a few, but you can see it's got two mounting points that hold it on the bottom. It's also got a bunch of uh, rubber grips and things like that. And you can also adjust the entire plate up or down to better match the thickness of your desk because you don't want these, you know, screwing up and down more than they need to be because it'll just help it be more stable. I thought it was really cool that the Visa mounting screws are just thumb screws, so you don't have to use a screwdriver at all, and they work really well. Here's the comparison between the old mount on the left and the new Ergotron on the right. You can see it's much beefier, has two mounting points instead of just the single one, and it's much wider. So especially having a sit stand desk the monitor wobble is way less it's still there's still some it's not perfect but it's way more sturdier than the uh, the mount i replaced it with This ring is what goes on the pole. It's like the initial uh, retention ring 
So you put it on the pole, you get it close to where you want it, you lock it down a little bit, and then you put the arm on there, and that kind of holds it in place until you get everything exactly where you want it, and then you can tighten it down. It took some trial and error for the top monitor, just because getting this positioned exactly where I want it, even though I could go up and down, I didn't want it to be too high or too low, so it interfered with the other monitor. So I got it uh, just right. Had to adjust it a couple times though. If you ever need to clean your monitors, the best thing to use is a damp paper towel and then a microfiber cloth that's dry. So you wipe off the monitors with the damp paper towel and then dry it off with the microfiber. Don't ever use any kind of chemical cleaners or anything like that, especially not Windex because it could destroy the coating on your monitors and just ruin them. Here I got everything booted back up just to check connectivity and make sure everything comes back on before I do any uh, final adjustments. And of course I had to see what it looked like with the lighting. I wanted to do a comparison between the OLED and the regular LED, which is on the top. That's my original 34 inch one I've had for probably a year, year and a half now. Um, in gaming, it really depends on the game. This is Red Dead Redemption 2. It's the benchmark. You can see there's not a ton of difference, not super noticeable. Um, and the color variation is a little bit different between the two. I did not adjust that in any way. Um, but with newer games like Cyberpunk, you can definitely tell there is way more of a difference, especially when HDR is enabled, which it ha was for both of these, you can just see the lighting effects are much more noticeable on the, the new QD OLED. And then the last test that I did was the LG HDR test. It's on YouTube. Um, you can definitely tell <laughs> the difference between these monitors with this test for sure. Here you go. And just to be clear, even though I recorded this in 4K, it does not do it justice. Seeing this in person um, and the difference between the HDR is just night and day. It's crazy. Um, I highly recommend it. If you get the chance to check this monitor out in person, uh, you will be blown away. I tried to sync everything the best I could, um, but there is a little bit of difference in a couple of these, and I apologize, it's the best I could do. This is two separate PCs. The top monitor has, is hooked up to my streaming PC. The bottom one is hooked up to my gaming PC. The gaming PC has a 3090, and the streaming PC has a 2060. But I tried to make all of the other settings the same regardless. And Windows won't even let you enable HDR unless you have a compatible card, a compatible monitor, and the cable that supports HDR between them. I hope this video was helpful. And, and if you're looking to pick up this monitor, I highly recommend it. It's been great ever since I got the second one. And I really appreciate you watching. See you in the next video.